Hi guys, this is John, and I'm here to do a review in a already open box, box opening of my uh, HJC Rafa Max helmet uh, with a carbon fiber look and it's black and white. And I think it's a beautiful helmet. So you get a nice box like this. And inside the box is one helmet. A carrying bag, so when you're right out riding, you can put this in your pocket or in your jacket, or if you have underneath your seat or a saddle bag, and you could put the helmet in here and then carry it around. Um, there's like the box inside is padded, and then you get this uh, extra pieces uh, for the helmet. So I'm gonna put this box in the side here, and I, I kept the box because. When I'm not riding, I'll just put it back in the bag and put it in the box, and I know and I know it'll be uh, nice and safe in there. So let's just put this down. So uh, like, what's in here, real quick? So HJC uh, technically makes uh, pretty good helmets now. You know, they're supposedly known to be quiet. So this is like an extra uh, chin strap. Some extra part, uh, some extra screws. Um, I don't really know what they're for. You know, uh, it says uh, cool forever with self cooling system, plush and premium interior, which it, it is. The, the interior is very nice. You know, it has like a little uh, diagram of this wicking sweat and stuff like that. And it's a pretty good ventilated helmet, I'm going to show you. Some, uh, some other, you know, reading pamphlet. Uh, this has a pin lock system, meaning that you could take off the, uh, the face mask, you won't let your, your, your mask fog up, which is really good. You know, pin lock original. Don't stop breathing, congratulations, you want to stop away from world's finest veil or clear. So you can get different, different shades of the pin lock. And I'm gonna show you that. And this is a uh, RPHA Max Performance Reinvented Owner's Manual. So RPHA, they, they pronounce it Rafa Max. That's a lot of people say that, but it's an RPHA Max helmet from HJC. So here's another uh, pamphlet. Um, So what's in here, you know, just gives you, you know, pretty decent directions on, uh, on the, uh, on the use, on how to use it. It gives you all the different, uh, you know, how to put it on, how to take it off, how to use the, you know, what to do, how to use the pin lock. And uh, it's, it's a pretty, you know, decent manual. It's well put together. It has a, it, this, this also has a sun shield. And it's a pretty decent helmet. And these helmets today, you could remove, you know, the liners and put new liners. Because in the old days, like I have a helmet that the liner is all dry rotted and the helmet's useless. So it's, it's unwearable. So it's pretty much garbage. But take the, so, some people have told me that the helmet's are only good for five years and then you shouldn't wear them anymore because they lose its, its uh, consistency or whatever it is that your know, ability to, to withstand shock. And this is the bag. You know, it's a pretty decent bag. It's got a liner. It has a nice feel to it. Uh, it says uh, performance reinvented. Rafa, RPHA. And uh, let's put this on the side. And this is this is the helmet. I mean, it's it's a beautiful helmet. And uh, the carbon fiber look. I mean, it's sort of like, but it's only like lines that go through it. You know, when I first bought, it, I thought it was like a carbon fiber, but it's still nice. I'm still happy with it. And that's the back. That's the top. 
the other side. That's the front. The front looks pretty cool. Now, I bought this helmet on Amazon, and I got a great deal on it. This was like $600 retail, and I got it for a really good price on Amazon. And it was shipped from overseas. And, you know, it's still, it's still going to do its job. I don't think... I'm sure they don't make different spec helmets for different countries. It's one helmet, everybody gets it, and they all fit in everybody's, uh, uh, you know, Department of Transportation, certified U.S., Europe, Asia, you know, they're all pretty much the same. So, uh, I mean, the first thing about this helmet is it's, uh, it's a module helmet where you can ride and open this top part up and get some air but when you stop at a light. So the other thing about the helmet, it has a, a, an easy to flip up and down air vent that flips very easily. Then it has, you could open this part up like that. And this is where the double screen is, right in here. And that's how it prevents the screen from fogging up. There are actually two shields in here, one on the inside, and one on the outside. And the inside one is the uh, is, is the like ever not the ever cool, but the uh, uh, like like the pin lock. The one on the inside is the pin lock, and it locks off. And this this helmet has a lot of uh, features to it. And I, you can see the inside. And it works pretty good. It's only one and one finger to open the uh, the face up, the face mask. Now they say that uh, these helmets, since they're like module, aren't as safe as full face helmets. So this is like a dual purpose full face full face helmet. But uh, this has metal clips, you can see, and uh, and the locking mechanism here is also metal. Where if you buy like a cheap jet cheap helmet you know like a $50 helmet um, you're gonna get all plastic so naturally if you have a, a, a modular helmet that's all plastic and it's not a really expensive helmet like this uh, it's, yeah you're not gonna have the safety like this is all metal like metal screws this is this is heavy duty this is a, a strong helmet and it'll keep you safe you know to a certain extent depending how fast you go home or when you hit and you come down but that's all a matter of your right. And as you can see here, it says uh, there's nice, you know, lettering. It's a really, it's a beautiful helmet. Nice color, uh, nice uh, graphics on it. Very nice. Good chin strap. So there's like a little handle here that you can move right there, and that locks, and that'll lock the shield down. So it just can't open. You have to open, unlock it, and then it opens. So when you close it, it's locked. So there's no way it's going to open, and then you open it on your own. And it has different levels of air you can get in the helmet, or you can keep it fully locked, or you can do that. And in the front you have this, this air vent. And then on the top, you have another air vent that's here, and it's very easy to use. Like when you, with your finger while you're riding, you just press that button, and the air flows through this vent, and it comes out the back, and that's what whisks the sweat away. So as you're riding, you, you vent out this way, and it whisks the sweat away. Or if you're in traffic, you can lift this up, let more air in. And if you're in a lot of traffic, you can just lift that up. And that's the point of having this helmet, is that if you're in like heavy traffic, you're in the city, and it's really hot out, and you, know, you want to get some air, you can just open this up you're gonna get a lot of air on you versus, you know, having the full face and just open the, sh the shield. Which, you know, I mean, you're gonna get this much more air. You're gonna have a little more air. And you could actually take this part off, this, this front part, and that will uh, give you a little more air. A little, it, it won't be as hot. Or you can wear, you know, like a half helmet, a three quarter helmet. And that's what this is. This is like a multi-use helmet. You know, you have a full face helmet, and you have a half a helmet, you know? And so it has the same function as full face helmet where you could open the shield up and it, and it gives you the, uh, uh, the full face effect. And 
this, it pretty much works the same. I mean, you could attach a golf ball to this, and even if you opened it, it's not gonna do anything. You know, to the growth pro, it won't hurt it, and you can close it. And what are some other features? Now, this helmet comes with a, uh, a built-in shield. So let me open this up, and let me show you. And there's, there's like a, a handle here that slides all the way up, versus like the other manufacturers have a, like something here that brings the shield down. So you technically push this up, and the shield comes out. And it's pretty cool, it's a big shield, and it covers the whole mask. And then if you want to close it, you just hit that button on top, and it, and it locks in. It's not gonna, you can ride like that too. So if you want to get some uh, some air, and you want to have the shield down, you could ride like that, or you could ride like that. And if you open it, the shield stays down. Like that. So you could keep the shield down and ride it, and have somewhat of protection for your eyes. This shield not meant for protection, it's meant for a sunblock, that's it. Where, you know, here you have the shield, this is meant to knock off uh, bugs and stuff. Off. This shield is simply for, uh, um, you know, sun, sunblock. And that's a really good feature, then all you have to do is to, uh, to bring the shield up, is there's a button right here, you hit that button and and the shield goes up. I don't know if you can see it. Let me open the thing again. So you, you open it, you close, you press this button, you push it forward, like that. Now the shield is down. Now to open it, you press this button here, and it comes right up. And it's so simple. And it comes right up. And now you can see back here there's two holes, and that's, that's what gives you the wiki. So as the air comes into the helmet, here, the air wicks out back through these holes here, those holes. And then in the back of here, there's more like kind of vents. And this is this whole mechanism that, you know, works the, uh, the shield. And it works the, uh, the open and close the vent here. And then you have a vent here. And, uh, and it's a really nice helmet. I mean, it's pretty cool, you know, and it's like a, a nice graphics where you, you're sort of visible and you're sort of like trying to have a nice helmet. You know, it's not like wearing a yellow helmet because, you know, you're, the most visible helmet you can wear is like a, a, a bright green or bright yellow helmet or white, right? So white is a, is a bright visible helmet and, uh, and with the black graphics in it, it it's, it's pretty uh, visible. And, and the, the silver lines in here glow, you know, glow at night. So when you're riding at night, the, uh, there's some reflection on here that uh, is helpful for other people to see you at night. And you should be visible at night. I mean, you shouldn't ride at night with like no lights, no visibility, because you're just setting yourself up for a bad day. You know, the more people that see you, the more cautious they're going to be towards you because they're going to respect that. So, like, if you ride, and you ride completely black, blacked out, with no lights, you can't, and you're on a dark road, nobody's going to see you, you know, and then you're going to piss people off because you might scare them. If they see you, they don't see you, and you're going to cause, like, a, a bad reaction that can cause you to have a bad day. But if you're seen and you're visible at night with even just having uh, some reflective tape, like if I put reflective, I could put reflective white tape all along here, no one would even know I had reflective tape. But at nighttime, it's gonna glow, it's gonna be shining at night. And who cares, you know, what people think that, you know, you, you wanna be seen and right safe. Because that's why we wear helmets, to be safe. You know, I mean, some states, there's no laws against uh, helmets. But in my state, uh, there's laws, there's laws uh, that you, sh you must wear a helmet while you ride. And why not be safe anyway? You know, I know it's hot and everything, but, you know, especially if you're an aggressive rider and you like to go 100, 150 miles an hour on a sport bike, you know, you should be uh, fully geared up and not squid out on a bike because if you go down, you're going to have a really bad day. And, uh... I mean, what else can I say about the helmet? You know, I said already, it's really nice. It's got good ventilation. 
being quiet, uh, I had this, I used this helmet on my Yamaha FZ6, and uh, the Yamaha was just a loud bike. I mean, that bike was loud. It was, you know, you had, it was just a loud bike. And I don't think there's really any helmet that's gonna block out all the noise. Uh, even if you wear earplugs, that help, that help, that that bike was still loud. And that was just a, you know, a four-cylinder, 98 horsepower bike. You know, you get in some of these sport bikes that are like 200 horsepower or 150 horsepower, they're gonna be really loud. So you need good ear protection, and, and this helmet gives you that. It gives you good ear protection. The bike I have now is a Suzuki uh, V-Strom 2012 650, and it's not that loud. And I, and I did a quick video on it, a quick review, walk around, you should watch that video, it's pretty cool. And that bike is a little quieter because it's a 650, it's not that big of an engine. And I like it, you know, it's good, it's easy to ride, it puddles along, you know, and, and it's a fine bike, it's really good. And uh, I mean, what else can I say about the helmet? Like, you, okay, so here you can see there's like reflective here. So all this silver in here is reflective. You know, which is which is pretty cool. And I really like the helmet. I mean, to put it on, it's simple. So what I do is I, I open up the front face. I grab the two handles, like this. And it goes right over my head. And I have this, this, this quick lock. Like that. And I'm, and I'm good. Now, if, if I'm out and I want to drive slow, I can just start off like this. I can put my shield down if I want to. It's too bright out. I can, oops, <laughs> sorry about that, um, I can put the shield out um, if I want to, I can lift it up quickly, just like that, see how easy that is, okay. down, up, and you can hear it, the mechanism inside the helmet, and it works very good, so then if you want to close it, now it's fully closed. And it fits perfect. And then you open the shield, the, the front screen on, and it's good. And you can ride just like that too. You can bring that down. You know, it's a cool helmet. I love this helmet. And it comes right back up. And it's only one, you just need one hand to, uh, to open it. You like, I unlocked it, and it locked. Open, locked. So here. And then you have this here, and then you have this button up here, open and close. Front is closed, back is open. You know, simple. That's what you need. While you're riding, you just grab it, close it, open it, close it, open it. You want to pull the shield down? Just like that. You can use your gloves and everything. No problem. And there's a button here. And it's simple as that. And uh, before I bought this helmet, I did a lot of research on, on online, on YouTube, and uh, they got very high high marks. So you know, comparing this uh, helmet to other expensive helmets that are supposedly uh, the best helmets in the world, I think this helmet uh, is going to serve its purpose uh, for you know what it's meant to do. It's meant for comfort, uh, keeping the rider cool, and keeping the rider safe, and having easy mobility of opening up the front, the front screen, and closing it, opening up the shield, closing it. Uh, Opening the, you know, using the uh, the front uh, uh, sun visor and opening it, opening and closing the front, the, the, the top vents, the front vent. It's a really good helmet. I highly recommend this. And uh, you can find these helmets on uh, Amazon. You know, just uh, go go ahead. You know, look down below. You see, there's an Amazon link. Click on that, and uh, you could easily, you know, find these HAC helmets or whatever helmet you like. You know, I had a Scorpion helmet. I wasn't too crazy about that helmet, so I, I, I sold it. And I bought this helmet. The Scorpion helmet was good, too. But, uh, you know, thanks for watching the video. Uh, this is John Franco from Franco Video. And uh, let me know what you think. You know, please subscribe, like the video, thumbs up. It's always a great thing. 
and a comment would be nice, you know, what helmet do you use, you know, how do you set it up, I'm going to set this up for a moto vlogging, and I'm going to do a quick review on that, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on top, which I could, you know, I could put it here, you know, there, there's, there's a lot of options I have uh, with this helmet that I could uh, set it up for good moto vlogging. And uh, thanks again, peace out.